bring to this black and white world the mix of the populace. The nice tan, the nappy mess. I was one of the happiest babies that had ever been blessed. Ever since my first days, I didn't fit in with the rest. And put me in the skin was just the first test. I'm nervous, so I won't budge. I hold the grudge, it's worthless. But I'm worth it. My mind will steady working. We're obsessed about the skin that I'm in was brought to me by my mother. She set me in front of a mirror and we gazed in. She said, this is how you'll be seen by others. Ignorance then was such a blessing. Think of it now, I shudder. I knew nothing in the hateful world then. It mattered not the colors of my friend, just the type of trouble we mixed in. Yet, coherently, one of my childhood memories was yelling nigger at the white family. Man, they were mad at me. I didn't pause the beat, fled home on my two feet, told my mom the news incomplete. There I learned a second distressing lesson, one that left me stressing. Those who chose to enslave those they supposed weren't equals, used this word psychologically to degrade my people. My mind, a people. My child is innocent and never imagined such evil. We watched Glory and Amistad. I was 10 years old. And then I became focused on civil rights and equalities, the evens and odds. I even figured out which side it was on. Blacks against whites, whites against blacks, whites, whites against whites, 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 Strange thing was, at this point, this poem, I felt, hadn't felt the hate from anyone. My own bounce between my thoughts like a long game of pong. As I grew older, my discrimination grew strong. I failed to realize the self-perpetuating path I was on. You see, hate breeds hate. Hatred grows strong when you carry that weight upon your shoulders and your chest. Shrug off the animosity, brush off the malice. Hatred quickly forms into an anger abscess, and your anger is how others control you best. Control your anger. Move, manipulate, and irate, fall like chess. Nevertheless, beforehand, I was ignorant to this. And in more foolish ignorance, I would strive to strike linguist speechless with, oh, it's because I'm black? That I wasn't picked first. So that you switch hands with your purse. Anything that could leave me being perceived as black, you see. I lay these people upon whites mostly. To make them seem unequal, unfair. I wouldn't have the seat because it was the only chair. I got the seat because I was the only black one there. The self righteous, foolish child, under society's racial tensions bare. Without a care, I throw the race card up in the air, trying to incite a reaction or a phrase fat and passion. While their confusion was short lasting, the fiercest actions of passion within my soul clash. I'm soaring to turn. Twist black and white, I'm on for Try to decide the proper step to take. Fierce physical, mental, spiritual step to take to set my troubled soul in its proper place. I'm a hybrid. self blind Raised to be something of an inane, profane, young man. Perception to others and colors to run around his brain. Look, I should show no shame to either of the races to which I pertain. The race is contained, ingrained inside the double helix from which I give him a lot of skin. Stereotypes don't damn me. Stereotypes damn those that can't stand me. Being both black and white comes in handy. When folks stereotype, they don't understand me. So I guess it's those types that need the most understanding. So, now I'll be standing. Problems of life, no race with which to define this brilliant mind. The soul fiery and unaligned with any racial stamps and the ignorance which profile the cosines.